least we're gonna go to Google Keyword Tool. Um, and that's all you type in Google Keyword Tool and legitimate work from home. And as you know, Google has the largest market share relative to um, search engines, search engine optimization. I mean, everybody, most people go to Google to find the information they need. So what you're going to do is enter one keyword or phrase and then there's this capture thing to prevent people from spamming and misusing this particular asset and then click on the tab that says get keyword ideas. So this will tell you just how relevant the particular term you're using. If the box is completely filled, filled there is, you know, great competition. Um, you know, half quarter, obviously you can make the assessment, um, legitimate work from home computer, not enough data on that particular term. Now these keywords are great. Now one of the things I would like to emphasize for those who are serious about building a successful business, you know, you've got the keywords that are sorted by relevant relevance that people will put in. In addition to that, Google knows what other synonyms or other words similar to what people are putting in that are of interest and this is where you get your money terms you know the things that google are tracking and this is evidently and very clearly a very hot hot market so once you've identified your main keywords that you're going to target you're going to come right here and get in touch with your lsi keywords you know your synonyms like terms because, you know, legitimate work from home is, you know, it's huge. And these terms are very much like it. You know, what kind of work, for example, that data entry, you know, real work from home, home-based work. So all these keywords are going to be relevant to your particular research. And so you can add these, you know, add, add, add. And I'm not really being very specific because I just want to show you what to do um, you know and then add these keywords that are relevant to what you are looking for if you're going to market yourself you can write articles using these keywords um, and you definitely want to use these keywords as part of your SEO for videos and you can save that file as a text file and this is how the keywords will show up and you want them stacked because you know the spider will crawl and it's easier to read the stacked words alrighty so once we've done that we've done our keyword research we know what people are looking for relative to legitimate work from home we're going to come back to our Google website legitimate work from home so there we go and then oh I must have spelt it incorrectly this is what I'm looking for then what you're going to do is copy and paste this and with all the sites that I've shown you you're gonna copy and paste the keywords of interest into a text document or a word document whatever you feel is necessary for you so in this case I paste the Google content and what you want to do here is you want to clean out the website you know cached similar pages and all that stuff all the stuff you want to clean out and then once you do that you're going to be left in essence with a document that looks very much like this Okay, so the clean document's gonna look like this. The unclean document looks like that. So you're gonna go all the way through and you're gonna clean this out. Now once you clean this out, you're going to find your text file that had, had all the keywords of interest. You know, legitimate work from home, blah, blah, blah. So legit work from home. And so you're gonna copy that and I need to find the text file so I can actually show you how to do that. 
so you don't feel gypped or jaded so here's my text file so I'm assuming you know obviously you're going to collect more keywords than these which are going to be relevant um, so once I do that I find my word document not the right one okay where's the word document that I am interested in document number three and then I'm gonna paste my keywords in there so you want to stack them from the web comps to whatever else you're interested in and then once you've done that your next step is to include your contact information http www.yourdomainname.com and your contact information you know telephone number Skype ID because this is going to be relevant relative to uploading your video and I will show you how to do that next so very simple you're going to use the three tool actually four tools that I showed you to do your research you start with webcon seeing so you know, all kind of see what kind of action you've got there Head on over to Word Tracker for your daily count. And then once you're done with that, you go to Google, the king of all information, and find the keywords of interest, but more importantly, you know, the synonyms, other words used for the keyword you're targeting. And you're going to copy all those into a Word document. And then you're going to go back to Google to the main homepage of the main keyword you're researching. You're going to copy and paste that content on the first page. And then you're going to clean it out so you don't have the websites or the cached and similar pages stuff. And then you're going to clean it out. And at the end of the day, you're going to be left with a document that has keywords stacked, looks like this, and your contact information. And then I will show you how to use this information to upload your video in the next series. But this is all you need to know. So by now, you've opened your Tube Mogul account, you've made all of my steps. And then I will show you how to upload the video. This is Patricia Gregoria Mahula, and to your success, made your new video. You have done your keyword research. You've